Hello friends and welcome to another episode of the Urban Homesteading channel. If today is your first time visiting with us, we want to extend to you a very warm welcome and invite you to watch any of our 500 videos that we've arranged for your convenience in playlists as we are confident you're going to find something both entertaining and useful to watch. If you've been here before but you have not subscribed, what are you waiting for? If today is your birthday, we want to wish you a very happy birthday. In today's uh, Wednesday Quickie, we're going to look at a very interesting outside light that it is designed to help you uh, light your property and uh, it is solar solarly <laughs> it is powered by solar power I don't like that either it is a solar light mm -hmm. and it also has a, a motion detection and, and several modes it has a nice little uh, uh, arm and comes with all the hardware that is needed and the arm allows you to uh, have both the up and down and a side to side uh, control. That's called control. The light itself is uh, Can you see? Yes. And it's very nice, looks like a very nice solar, solar panel. And it is made by Kufang, K U F O N G. F U N G. F U N G. Mm -hmm. Okay. And there is an, an instruction uh, uh, little card that is covering when it is sipped the solar power. There is on the front a, a small switch that allows you to change modes and a motion sensor switch and the light sensor switch is embedded on the uh, solar panel. Okay. So let's see if we can make this work. It says press for three seconds. Woo. Light. And then very nice bright LEDs. Oh, is that motion then? What is it doing? Well, you're flipping it over. Light. Yeah, you're flipping it over so it's seeing the light or not. And now I guess I turned it off. You did. Woo. So I guess the blinking indicates that it is on, right? Mm hmm. And it has little lights here. I don't know what they do, but they're on. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you see them. We do. And it doesn't seem to he want a lot of light. I mean, it seems to be very sensitive, right? Mm -hmm. Because, uh, I mean, you know. There you go, yeah. But we have light here enough to suit. Mm -hmm. And it seems to generate pretty decent amount of light. Yeah. Hopefully we'll make it work outside. Yeah. It's on, just on top of the doors, as you can see. The installation was pretty straightforward and it has adjustments both up and down and right and left. Provides really good control over where you're going to put your light. And I'm going to show you when it dark when it gets darker uh, what kind of light it generates. It has been uh, outside in some direct light, sunlight and some indirect sunlight. So I'm not really sure how bright it will be today. It did not charge for the whole day. So I'm not sure, but in any case, I'm going to show you how bright this specific light is as soon as it, it turned on. Overall, the device is well constructed, I think. What do you think, Alpina? Yeah, it seems to be uh, a nice little encased box there. Uh, it's got a solid feel to it. The lights come on really nicely. They're very bright, which is good. And those also uh, light. And they can light as a dimmer too, without the main um, being on. The arm is specific. It cannot go both ways. In other words, this doesn't go this way. Right. It can only go this way. I don't know if it is visible. And then it has really a lot of yeah. position control. Yeah. And then the... And there's little teeth there that help hold yeah. it in position. And there are also teeth on the wall adapter. So the wall adapter, I think it's like this, allows you to go right and left 
okay. And then the, the adapter on the light itself allows you to go up and down. Does that make okay. sense? Yeah. And then there's a little screw and a nut that help hold those on. But and they both, they all come with the device. Mm -hmm. So it, it is pretty complex. Now, I hope we say the company correctly. Kufang, mm -hmm. right? Kufang.co. Yeah. And the package contains two lights and it is around $20. It's a very, in fact, it feels very good for the cost, to me yeah, at least. Yeah, I think so. Again, we don't know the longevity of this. This is the first look. We have not used it. We'll go outside and see uh, the installation on our set, uh, on our soap, if it works or not. Uh, but um, my first impressions are definitely positive. What do you think? I think so. Yeah, looks pretty nice. And I haven't decided what I'm going to do with the second one, but the first one is going on the soap. Okay. To, to light our uh, front door. All right. All right. And here we are in our set and you see our light. Show us and, and turn itself on. And how much is the delay? We said if we don't move? I don't remember. A few seconds? Yeah. Let's stop back and uh, let it... Do its thing. Yeah, let's see. Again, we... That looks pretty good light-wise, don't you think? I think so. You think we need two though or just one? Um... Oh, that's... Oh, there. That's kind of nice, actually. Yeah, there it goes and it went dim. So let's see how sensitive it is. I'm going to watch. Watch walk again. So definitely it works for our purpose, right? Yeah. It, okay. Is it bright enough, you think? What do you think? I think so, because it lights up the whole front door plus both the both of the windows a little bit enough for you to see. You think I should lift it up? I mean I have it a little angled. I think it's all right for I mean, now. That's something you have to, to play with, right? To see exactly yeah, for your you positioning. Want. But for this purpose, it shines right down on the door. Right, uh, on the key. The keyhole, which is what you're looking for. Yeah, I think it's good. Yeah. And the installation was actually easy. We don't like right. five-minute things in general. <laughs> but it was pretty easy. Two screws that it and comes with and, go, and puts the bracket right on. And then those two uh, bolts with nuts. And, and the thing done. I like is here, because I'm moving, it doesn't turn off. Yeah. It is not like just a, just time. It continues mm -hmm. monitoring, right? Yeah. And I don't know how long it took to take off a moment ago. I don't know, 10, 15 seconds maybe. So let's see if I stay, if I'm a statue, if it's going to, 10 seconds, you think? Yeah. That's just riveting YouTubing. We're doing nothing. Pretty yeah. good. It was slightly less than 10. But even my head turned, turned it on. I yeah. mean, that was pretty. Yeah. Pretty cool, huh? Okay. All right, good. It works. Here I wanted to give you an idea how it looks when the light is on the dim mode. The little side lights are the only lights on. And you can still see the building. It is enough light. It is a very dark night tonight. But it is enough light to walk towards it. And I'm going to walk towards it. And uh, you will see the difference when the light comes on. And then I'm going to walk off again. And you're going to see the difference between the very active bright light and the life that it is dim only enough for you to find your way around this is a very nice feature of the light and it is very sensitive as you can see it provides a lot of light when it is on and yet enough light to guide you when it is off this dimmer function is very impressive in my opinion and i'm i'm really pleased on how this works again this is a first look so i cannot tell you how long it will last, but we'll visit again in a couple of months and let you know how it operates. Well, as you just saw with our installation on the soap, in my opinion, that works very well. And if that actually lasts even a year, it is $10 very well spent. Oh, yeah. I mean, it doesn't need to last a, a decade to, to be good, you know? Right. Uh, and I would think it will last a year. We'll see. I mean, we're going to let you know. We're going to do a review in six months in a year, as we always do with our products. And we're going to let you know. So, evaluation time. I, I would give it a thumbs up. What do you think? Yeah. The installation was easy. Let's talk about pros and cons. The installation was easy. Uh -huh. It looks to be reasonable quality. Uh -huh. I cannot really think of a con. The cost is very affordable. Right. Can you th think of a con? Um, only maybe that it's all plastic. But 
Well, that's for weather, though. But weather yeah, could... for weather, then it works out fine. So it just depends on if that's a look that you're okay with. That would be the only negative that I'm thinking of. Well, if you want to be really nitpicky, the what you call these lights are very dim. Yeah, but it's enough for you to have a little bit of light as to opposed go there. To, yeah. yeah. But definitely it's bright enough. Yeah, I liked how bright it was. And um, definitely the solar lights and the LEDs have come a long way since they first I, I think so, came yeah. in. Mm -hmm. This is a good solution. Again, it depends if you don't like it. I, I wouldn't mind it in a front door to light your entryway or on a mm -hmm. deck. Um, hey, even here in our, we can put it on a tree yeah. in the property to want, if we want to have a specific light. Yeah. Because it, it doesn't need to run wires. I mean, they are, it is very flexible, I like the options that it gives you, mm -hmm. right? Um, I cannot, as I said, we're kind of nitpicking now on negatives. It is plastic, but it is not poor quality plastic. It's not no. crumbling, it feels solid. Yeah. And the sensor seems to be very good. Yeah. Definitely the light sensor is great. And I was amazed, just moving my head activated when mm -hmm. we're on, on the deck. A question that I have um, is how sensitive is it going to be with uh, dirt, debris, or anything else getting over the photo cell? Or the, or the solar cell. I don't know. How much will that affect anything? But I've told, I think that is for all devices like that. I don't think that would mm -hmm. be unique. It has very tight, the, the honeycomb is very tight on the solar. Solar is, is a good uh, cell. It doesn't look bad, doesn't look cheap. I don't know. Everything looks very well made, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess my, I don't even want to call it complaint. I found the directions somewhat confusing on how to cho choose the modes. Yeah. Uh, other than that, I mean, it was easy, it was well labeled. This is the button that you mm -hmm. choose for the modes, and this is the the movement, the motion sensor. But and it has four modes overall, right? Well, I think only three modes. And it's off. just the fourth one is off. Right. <laughs> so if you want to call that a mode, sure. And I don't know why you will turn it off. It doesn't save you any energy solar. I mean, you know. Right. So I'm not sure why would you turn it off. But if you want to turn it off, you can. If you want more information. You can go to support, no, I guess you can email support at kufungqfang.com, C-O. Mm -hmm. And I don't know what C-O is, but that's the website. I would give it a thumbs up. Again, would you give it a thumbs up? Yeah. We would recommend it, and, and I might put a link. Uh, I got it from Amazon, and I might put a link in the Dublida downstairs in the doobly uh, if you are interested in purchasing one I'm very happy with the purchase I would definitely purchase it again and with our new homestead we might have opportunities for this right there are pl plenty of places so I really enjoy it from the garage uh, not garage anymore we don't have a garage from the homestead wizard Elpida and the urban homesteading channel we want to wish you a great week we ask that if you like this episode you give us a thumbs up if you didn't, the other button works as well. Share, like, subscribe, and let us know what else you would like to see in our channel. Uh, we want to bid you uh, a great week. Stay safe and uh, take care of each other. Farewell, friends. <laughs>